Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Will, and today I wanted to record a review about Judge Me product reviews, which is a Shopify app that integrates a review system into Shopify. My channel, what I do here is I make videos about how a complete beginner can take their Shopify store to the next level. Um, most of my videos have to do with how uh, people who don't know how to code at all can use easy copy to paste code blocks to add custom features to their sites. In addition, I do app reviews and I also just talk about general uh, tips and tricks for the Shopify backend. So let's just jump straight into this review of this uh, review app. So guys, I can't stress this enough. Reviews are very important for building social proof for your e-commerce site. So if we look at this study done by Big Commerce, 69% of online shoppers want more reviews from e-commerce sites and 77% of customers read product reviews before making a purchase. And I, I believe the reason this is, is because when you're running an e-commerce site, you're in competition with these big chains like Amazon and Walmart and whatnot, where people know generally the quality of the product they're getting. They know the quality of the delivery and whatnot, whereas your site is completely unknown to them. You could be scamming them, whatnot. People are very wary of being scammed from sites they don't know because they've had bad experiences with them in the past. But reviews can help fix this for a person by providing evidence that other people have had a good experience with your site. They also allow your customers to communicate with you and you can figure out what's working with your products and what's not working with your products. So as you might have gathered from the title of this video, I'm a big fan of uh, Judge Me product reviews. Um, one of the reasons I'm a huge fan is because if, if we go ahead and like, let's just type in uh, reviews right on the Shopify app store. Uh, these are all ads up here, but the first thing that pops up is this judge me product reviews, right? And the reason that it pops up first is because a lot of people use it. You can see it has 4,301 reviews with an average of a five star review, right? Um, whenever that many people are using an app and it's rated five stars, it's generally a good app. Not always the case, but, but it's a general guideline that you can usually go by. One of the reasons that I think this app is so popular is because it's one of the few review apps on the Shopify app store that has a completely free plan available. And so if we scroll down here, you'll see there's a free pricing. There's this awesome pricing, which is 15 bucks a month. And the free plan has everything that you'd want in a basic review system. Really with the data being what it is, it's almost inexcusable that Shopify doesn't already have these features integrated natively into their platform, um, but that's a whole other video. So um, then with the awesome, you get all this extra stuff like photo and video reviews, uh, site reviews. Um, you can send your customers coupons to review your products, whatnot. And also this no branding, so they'll remove the judge me branding from uh, the app and from the emails and whatnot. And that way you can stay consistent with your own brand. I'm a huge fan of this app. I use it on my live site. Um, and so now I'm going to get into how you can install it on your site and how you can tweak it to suit your needs. So we're just going to go ahead and click this add app button. Then it's going to take us through all this stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead and install the app. And now we're just going to go ahead and hit installation by judge me. And this will usually work. Hit start installation. Um, generally, I do review widget. I do a review widget on the product page, uh, preview badge on the product page, and preview badge on. I do all three of these generally. Um, current live theme. Now it's just going to go ahead and install, and we're just going to wait patiently. Um, we're going to go ahead and click this check the widgets on our store directly. It's asking me to log into my store because my store is still locked. Um, let me just go ahead and go ahead and go to the home page of my store. Now, right now, you're not going to see much because uh, there's no reviews on these items, so you won't see them here. If we go ahead and uh, navigate back to that. Um, product you can see here on our monkey hugs product uh, we have this customer reviews it says no reviews yet we can go ahead and write a review enter our name blah 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 but we're going to get into all these settings um, in the next part of this video so if we go ahead and from the home page of our Shopify admin uh, we go ahead and click on apps we can go ahead and click on the judge me product reviews 
Um, and then you're going to get all this data down here. Uh, this is basically saying we have zero reviews. It hasn't set, sent out any emails to try to acquire reviews to our customers. Um, and same thing with the Q and A's, uh, sections of the review and our average rating is zero because we have zero reviews. Now, um, we can go ahead. There's tons and tons of settings with this app, which is one of the nice things, but it can get a little overwhelming. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through some of the settings that you might want to tweak. If we go ahead and click on this reviews button here, this is going to be where we can access all of the customer reviews once they write one. So if I go ahead and enter a review here, just enter my name, Will, whoop, Will, uh, and then I enter my email, just make it like test at gmail.com. Go ahead and give it a rating. Let's say I really like the monkey hugs, give it a five. Review title, blah, that's fine. Review. And I put like, this is a great product. Now I'm going to submit. And I can either display my name publicly or I can make it anonymous. So I'm going to keep it public. So go ahead and submit. Uh, it's going to say you can refresh to see your review. And it's still not saying it still needs to process the review, but we'll get it in a second. And it'll pop up here as well. So just give it a second. All right. So now it has basically that I've written this review about monkey hugs. And uh, it gives you the option where you can hide customer reviews. If someone uh, writes a review that you don't feel fairly accurate uh, or accurately describes your product, you might want to hide it. I keep all my reviews published because I like to be uh, transparent about my site. But perhaps if, you know, if there's a, if there's a bot that's coming onto your site and just, um, you know, giving all your products one stars and whatnot, uh, I think it's good to have this hide button functionality. So then what we can do is uh, we can go to the request dashboard and this right now is saying we have zero requests, right? What these are basically, um, after your customer buys your product or when they sign up to your email list or whatever, you might want to send them a request for a review uh, through email or through, uh, this allows you with the, the pro version to do it with um, their phone number or also their social media accounts. But with the free version, it's just email, but that generally works fine. So you can go to the email template. Um, you can't edit the email te template uh, with the free version, but the default email template is pretty good. Now, if we go ahead and hit settings here, this is going to take us to this massive page. So you can scroll down on this page and you get uh, all these drop downs here or these, these sub menus here, uh, which all have options. This is all options here. Uh, and then you can also um, click on these and it'll give you more of these drop downs. So I think that they could maybe do a little bit better of a job organizing this stuff. Um, it's hard because there's so much with this app that uh, I think organizing it is, is a task, right? Um, so, but a lot of these features, if you're on the free version, you're not even gonna have to worry about because um, you have to be on the awesome plan to even uh, mess with them. So you can not worry about most of this stuff. So the one thing that you might wanna do is go ahead and click on this other widgets here and go to reviews carousel. And I think this is this is really a uh, really good feature in the app um, for increasing social proof. Uh, you can basically what this does is you'll see, but it creates this carousel of your top reviews uh, that you could put on your homepage. Basically, it allows you to pick your best reviews, put them in this carousel, and then when your customers come to your site, they're going to see uh, your best reviews and uh, they're going to be more likely to convert because of all this stuff, the default settings are generally pretty good. Um, how we add this review carousel to our site is we go to online store here, go ahead and click customize. Then we're just going to go down like we're adding any other section. Go ahead and scroll um, down to, I believe, should be here. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here to uh, featured review carousel. Go ahead and click select. Um, go ahead and save that. So now you can see if we refresh and we scroll down to where we put this uh, review carousel, 
We have blah, this is a great product by Derek, uh, monkey hugs, blah, blah, blah. Your customer can click on that and it'll take them straight to this uh, product. Now mine is giving me this, like where this text is partially hidden. I don't know why that's necessarily the case. Let's see if we can go fix that in the settings. Yeah, so I fixed that by uh, increasing this review carousel height, which is just uh, located with the reviews carousel in the other widgets tab. So that's all fixed now. As you can see, it's no longer cutting off the text. So the last thing I think that uh, it'd be helpful to go over is basically the notification system for after your customer buys a product, you, you have the option of sending them an email, kind of prompting them to not only leave another review, but maybe also buy the product again. So if we go to um, review requests here, is where it's lo located. Um, we can send review requests for each individual product in the order. There's also a way to send them for um, every product at once. So your customer, if they buy like seven things, they only get one email. Um, so then it has, uh, this is kind of a nice feature here where it has a separator for domestic slash international orders. And we can say, okay, we want after, like, let's say we want it to send after 21 days for domestic and international. We want it to send after 30 or something. Uh, we can make that distinction and it'll wait to send the email uh, after the order is fulfilled, not placed, fulfilled. Uh, it'll wait 21 days or 30 days. And then if we want to actually view the email that it's sending, we are going to go ahead and click on this uh, email templates. Uh, we can click on emails dashboard. Go to here. Right now, this multi-review email template is active. So if we go ahead and um, hit edit template, it's going to give us a, a little preview of it. We could also uh, send a preview as you saw previously. Uh, I could send a preview to my email. So here it has, hi, John. We fulfilled your order from our store, Shop Code 101, 14 days ago. I'd love to, love to get your feedback. Um, what do you think about your purchase? Uh, and this is just the monkey hugs product and when they click this review now it'll take them straight back to this product page and I find with my live store where I sell coffee this is really good because I can set it up basically to prompt the customer to leave a review but also to order uh, the coffee again if they've ran out of it in the meantime my review of this review app is that I give it five stars I use it on my live site and I think you should use it too if you don't use this use something to get reviews from your customers because you saw the data earlier. Very important to have reviews on your site. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe. What I do on this channel is I basically teach complete uh, people who don't know how to code at all to how they can implement uh, custom coded features into their Shopify site. I write up the code blocks. It's a matter of just copy pasting them to your site. Um, I also do app reviews like this, and I just talk about general Shopify uh, advice as well. So if any of that appeals to you, uh, I'd encourage you to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.